Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make an animated video using Canva. Canva is a platform that you can sign up on for completely free using your email address. Once you have signed up to Canva to start creating your animated video, all you have to do is tap on videos right here. Or you could tap on create a design in the top right hand corner. Then you would select video. After you have selected video, you are going to be redirected to a new page. And on this page, we can start creating our animated video. But before diving in, there are a few things that I want you to pay attention to, as we are going to be using these features during the process of making this video. The first thing is elements from the left-hand menu option, also uploads and also text. And I want you to pay attention to the timeline as you can see right here. At the moment, you can see that our timeline is 5 seconds and we have a blank canvas. And I also want you to pay attention to the color box as this is in charge of the background color. Now to get started, let's say I'm creating an animated video for a birthday. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to elements. Once in elements, I'm going to type in cake. So I'm going to type in cake right here. Then let's select birthday cake. After you have selected birthday cake, I'm going to tap on graphics. After selecting graphics, let's say for example, I want to use this birthday cake right here. I can simply drag it right here. So I'll drag and place it right here. Then I'm going to minimize the size a bit. After doing that, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to go over to the left hand menu option. I'm going to tap on text and I'm going to tap on add a heading. After tapping on add a heading, from here I'm going to simply type in happy birthday. So I'll type in happy birthday. Let me do that real quick. Let me clear this right here. So after I've added the text, I'm going to type in happy birthday. So let me type in happy birthday real quick. After typing in happy birthday, I can change the font style and size. So let's say I want to choose a different font style. All I have to do is highlight the text box, then tap on Canvas Sans. After tapping on Canvas Sans, you can see numerous font styles you can choose from. And also, if you would like to change the font size, you can also change the font size. Let's say I want to use this font style for example sake. And another thing I can also do, I can also animate the words or make the words move. All you have to do after highlighting the text box is tap on animate in the top right hand corner. And let's say for example, I want the words to pan. Or if I wanted it to rise, all I had to do was tap on rise right here. Then after tapping on rise, let's say I want the cake to have a little bit of movement also. I could tap on the cake. Then after tapping on the cake, I would select animate and you can see it right here. And I can make the cake fade in. I can make it wipe across or I can make it pop right there or I could make it breathe. I'm going to select breathe. Then after doing that, all you're going to do now is tap on the plus to add a new page. After tapping on the plus to add a new page, from here I'm going to go over to elements again. Then after going over to elements, from here I'm going to simply type in gifts. Then tap on birthday gifts or gifts birthday as you can see right here. Then I'm going to tap on graphics. After tapping on graphics, you can select any one of these birthday options or any one of these gifts options. I'm going to be using this one right here. So I'll simply drag this one and place it right here. And then I'm going to be placing another one right here. As you can see right here. Then after doing that, I'm going to add a boy in the middle. So I'm going to be typing in boy in the elements box right here. So let's type in boy. After typing in boy, right where you see graphics, I'm going to tap on see all. 
then after tapping on see all i'm going to be selecting this boy right here and i'm going to be placing him in the middle so now let's say i want this child to be bouncing or jumping up in the air all you have to do is select the image then you are going to tap on animate then after tapping on animate i'm going to tap on create an animation in the top left hand corner then from here i'm going to simply tap right there as you can see right there and you can see that's it and also you can see the images right here if you would like it to have some animation you can also tap on that and you could select the type of animation you want so if you would like it to pan or to fade you can select the type of animation that you would like it to have as you can see right there and also if you would like to change the background color all you have to do is tap on the entire canvas then you are going to tap on the plus or better yet the color box sorry and from there you'll be able to change the background color so let's say I want to change the background color to a sky blue. All I have to do is tap right there. And let's say I want to add another page. All I would have to do is tap on the plus again at the bottom. Then after you have tapped on the plus, let's say for example sake, I want to add something else. So I'll tap on elements. After tapping on elements, I will simply type in celebration. So I'll type in celebration right here. Then after typing in celebration, I'll simply tap on see all. Then after tapping on see all, I can use any one of these graphics. So let's say I want to use this particular graphic. All you have to do is tap on it and you can see the graphic right there. And also, let's say I want to add something else. Let's just for random sake, I want to add a rabbit or so on. In the search bar, I could type in rabbit and tap on enter. After tapping on that, from here, let's say I want to use this particular one or better yet, I'll tap on see all and choose something else. So let's say I want to use this one. So all I have to do is tap on the one that I want to use then again i can minimize the size once you have minimized the size you could tap on animate after tapping on animate i'm going to tap on create an animation and i'm going to simply pull it across right here and you can see it right there then i'll tap on steady to steady it out and i'm going to tap on done and if you would like to add music all you have to do is go to the first page you want to go to the first page so you are going to pull it along then after doing that again in elements you could type in birthday or you could select uploads and upload a song but for this one all i'll have to do is type in birthday right here and i'm going to use one of the copyright free songs then i'll tap on audio after you have tapped on audio you can see the different songs that you can use then i'll tap on this particular song and by the way, you can see that the song is longer than the video. To change that, all you have to do is tap on Beat Sync. Then you can see that it has changed now. And if I were to tap on Play. That's it. And now to save it, all you have to do is go over to the top right hand corner and tap on share. After tapping on share, you are going to tap on download. Then from here, you could tap on download and you'll be able to download your new animated video. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.